During my recent video with author and journalist David Hambling discussing drone warfare in Ukraine, we briefly touched on the phenomena of drone dogfighting. Drone use in Ukraine has been a prominent feature of the conflict, and drones have been used in roles ranging from intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, to direct action against targets, either through one-way loitering or kamikaze drones, or by drone-dropped munitions. Naturally, the threat drones pose, either from information gathering, artillery forward observation, or direct attacks, means that both sides have sought to interdict and destroy the other's drones. In some cases, this has seen opposing drones attacking one another in dogfights. This raises some fascinating parallels with early military aviation during the First World War, which saw initially unarmed observation aircraft begin to carry weapons and attack one another. Some of the earliest instances of these drone dogfights were reported in October 2022, with an initial video featuring a pair of DJI Mavic quadcopters, with the Ukrainian drone destroying the Russian drone by breaking its rotors. Another video posted on the 18th of October reportedly shows a Ukrainian drone diving down onto a Russian quadcopter, damaging it. Several similar videos were shared in November, one shared around the 14th of November again shows a drone attacking from above. Towards the end of the month, on the 25th, a Mavic, clearly marked with a Z, was rammed from above by a Ukrainian drone. In early December, a different technique was demonstrated with a drone from the separatist 1st Donetsk Army Corps dropping a weighted net onto a Ukrainian drone below it. This has the benefit of not having to use a valuable asset to ram and potentially lose while attempting to attack an enemy drone. It also has the advantage that it presumably uses the same munition release mechanism used to drop munitions on ground targets. The drawback of net dropping, however, is the increased chance of missing the target and a limit to the number of attempts that the operator has to attack it. In mid-December, another video was shared, this time by the Ukrainian 54th Mechanized Brigade, showing the ramming of another drone. February 2023 saw further videos of drone dogfights. In a piece of footage shared on the 24th of February, we can see an attacking Russian drone taking its time to line up on its target before attacking. And at the end of the clip, it's possible to see the attacked Ukrainian drone fall to the ground. As can be seen in videos like this one from February, aiming a drone for a ramming run at an opposing drone can be difficult. In our earlier video, David explained the favoured tactic of attacking from above. It has the advantage in that it allows the attacking drone to maintain visual contact and also avoid being seen by the target drone's camera, which is unable to look upwards. The more robust body of the drone is what makes contact with the target drone's rotors, which increases the attacking drone's chances of survival. Indeed, in some videos, the target drone appears to be unaware that it's about to be attacked. This was again demonstrated in a video posted by the Ukrainian 10th Mountain Division in March, which showed a drone making numerous ramming runs on a Russian quadcopter. In early May, a video of a Russian Mattress 30 series drone being hunted by a Ukrainian Mavic was shared. While the Ukrainian drone was destroyed in the course of its attack, the loss of a $2,000 Mavic to destroy a mattress worth approximately $12,000 makes tactical sense.
On the 25th of March, Russian Telegram shared a video from a team called Project Cretchit, featuring a test showing a fast-moving first-person view, or FPV drone, ramming a larger quadcopter. The Telegram post noted that the small anti-drone fighter aircraft are much cheaper and better suited to the role than DJI Mavics. In late April, footage of another drone dogfight was shared showing a Russian Mavic being downed by a Ukrainian drone. In early May, the Russian news agency RIA shared footage of a clash between a Russian drone and a Ukrainian DJI Mavic, reportedly in the Donetsk Adivivka region. Again, the Russian drone positions itself moving slightly above the target drone and then comes down onto the target drone's rotors, using its body to break the rotor blades. On the 24th of May, Escadrone, a Ukrainian manufacturer and supplier of FPV kamikaze drones, shared what is believed to be the first video of a Ukrainian FPV drone attacking a Russian reconnaissance quadcopter. While not a drone versus drone dogfight, on the 30th of June, a video of a Ukrainian drone dropping a munition onto a Russian Zala 421-16E2, which was on the ground, shows another nuance to the drone versus drone engagements. The video is similar to the popular tactic of drone demolition, the dropping of munitions into enemy vehicles which are either stationary or have been mobility killed. In both the case of the Zala and ground vehicles, the demolition missions deny the enemy assets recovery and future use. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. It struck me as a really interesting historical parallel back to some of the earliest days of military aviation. If you found this interesting, please do like, comment, share and subscribe, share the video with friends, and if you'd like to, you can support us via Patreon and YouTube memberships. We have a whole range of perks to say thank you, check those out, and also check out our website, armorersbench.com, for more information and articles accompanying all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.